What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about what would I do different if I could rewind the hands of time. All right, guys, because I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of you guys just think that I'm good at this shit because, you know, I was just born to do everything right. I ain't made no mistakes. Actually, guys, I know all this shit because I done did every fucking mistake in the book two, three times over. All right, so that's how I can make all these videos. So, you know, that's why, you know, I don't look down on mistakes and failure because I wouldn't be the person I am today without them. You know, a lot of you guys... Wanna know what books you read, you know, man? Tell us, tell us the books. Give us the books. What movies you read? What I read was Life Experience. All right, that's what I read. Making a whole bunch of mistakes over my 39 years living. All right, so that's what I read. Life Experience. All right. First thing right off the back, and I'm gonna start this from when I was fucking um, in high school, right? I don't need to tell you some shit I did when I was nine years old and I could do different. All right, who gives a fuck what a nine year old was doing? All right, I'm gonna take this from where I know most of my age bracket started from. So the average guy on here that's is watching my channel is, is probably the youngest guy on here, probably like 16, 17 years old. So I'm gonna pick it up from there. All right, so. When I was in high school, guys, I could shoot basketball like a motherfucker. But I also, a lot of women found me very attractive. All right? So rather than pursue basketball and bust my ass, you know, practicing after school and all this shit, I was too busy chasing practicing women, chasing women, guys. All right? I was chasing ass. Couldn't stay focused. I don't want to go to practice. I want to chase some ass. All right? Because I had a whole bunch of girls that found me attractive. All right? So it sidetracked me. That's why when I sit here and I tell you guys to stay on your purpose and stay on your passion, that's why I know you guys are full of testosterone and you want to fuck these hoes to sleep. All right? Most of the emails I get are about women. I rarely get from the younger guys. I do get, you know, purpose questions, emails from older guys. But most of the, 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 the women questions come from younger guys. And I'm thinking to myself, man, the women are calm. Focus on your fucking purpose. Focus on your passion. What do you love to do? And go after that. Let the women chase you. See, here's the thing, guys. And y'all know when I say here's the thing, you know some knowledge finna get dropped. Here's the thing, all right? Y'all know why Leonardo DiCaprio can bang Victoria's Secret models? Do y'all guys know why Drake can sit here and bang Instagram models? Because when they was young, any of y'all guys who know Puff Daddy history... He grinded his way up through the music industry. So he spent his early years grinding. That's why he can have his pick and choice now. Leonardo DiCaprio was doing acting acting things and shit. And, and you know, so I, if he was chasing ass then, he wouldn't be where he at now. LeBron James was fucking practicing basketball day and night. All right, now he married, but if he wanted to, he could sleep with any woman he want. The point being, guys, is... You guys who are watching this right now, 16, 17, 18, man, focus on your purpose. By the time you get 24, man, you'll be having bitches sucking your dick you wouldn't even believe, thought you could pull. All right, guys? So that's the thing. Pursue your passion, man. Pursue your purpose. The women will be there. All right? So, you know, I was very short-sighted. And, and that's the biggest, from all this shit, guys, what I took from it when I went over the list is I was very short-sighted. All right? I was very sure. I didn't see the long vision in something. So I could shoot basketball very good, and I was told, could I have made the NBA? It ain't even about that. I could have at least gotten a Division three free education. All right? And whether I made the NBA, who gives a fuck? Fuck the NBA. But I could have. Y'all guys know I'm pretty smart. Y'all guys see me up here watching these videos long enough to know that. I probably could have been a lawyer or a doctor if I applied myself and I could have paid for that shit with a basketball scholarship. I was good enough to get a fucking scholarship whether it was a Division 1A school or a Division 3 school. It don't really fucking matter. Education is an education, right? So that's the thing with that, guys, is I could at least use my athletic ability, which I ain't have a whole lot of athletic ability, but I could shoot like a more. I could shoot like Reggie Miller. I, I could really shoot like Steph Curry. I could really shoot, guys. You know, I, I couldn't run a jump, you know. But so Reggie Miller can't run a, couldn't run a jump either. All right, same for Steph Curry. But they could shoot the lights out, all right. So I could have at least gotten a free education. And I'm smart enough to where I could have been a doctor or lawyer if I focused on If I could go back in the hands of time right now and I really focus, say, man, I want to be a doctor. I could have used that to get a free education, guys, all right? So focus on your purpose and passion. Let the women come, guys. 
All right, so we made that mistake, right? All right, so we ain't gonna compound that. We, you know, we made that mistake. So now here we is, 2021, no education. I'm not playing basketball. Should have gotten a skill. Went to Job Corps, left after a month. And this is a common theme throughout my life, guys, in my early years. I wouldn't finish shit I started. Then I started. Whatever I started, I would never finish. Went to Job Corps, think I'm finna become this electrician at about 20, 21, something like that. And didn't like it. It felt like jail, all right, because you, you can't leave and shit. Felt like jail. Bought my ass home. All right, guys. So finished what I started, but should have gotten a skill, all right? Didn't know the importance of getting a skill. So now, instead of doing, you know, high-paying labor, now I'm finna do manual labor, which means that low income, all right? So now, I ain't gonna be making a whole lot of money had I just gotten that skill, all right? So that's the thing with that, guys. If I would've just took the little six months or year, whatever the skill would've take, I could have been making good money, but I didn't. So instead, I came back home, and now I'm working for nine bucks an hour, eight bucks an hour, shit like that, busting my ass, because it's low manual work, guys. All right? So, guys, make sure that if you're somebody watching this, and you're 21, 22, and you, can't, you don't live with your parents, and you got your own, so maybe going to a four-year college may not be something that's in your future right now, because you got bills to pay. I advise you guys on the weekend or at night, try to get a trade, all right? Don't bitch and moan. I, I, the man holding me down. It, it ain't no job opportunities. Get a fucking skill or a trade. If you're watching this right now and you're 25 years old and you work for Chump Change, do your job, go to a trade school, and see what is most, most trade schools offer financial assistance. You can apply for a federal grant to go to the trade school, guys. Don't bitch and moan. Life is... Y'all want guys want to know the secret to life? I'm going to give y'all the secret of life right now. Get a, get a skill or a trade or education. Then get a high-paying job. And then take that money and invest it. That's, that's it. That's it. You want to be a... You want to be... Any of you guys watching my channel and, and right now... And, and what I say about purpose, guys, and I, and, I, and I wholeheartedly say this to the death of me, I don't believe nobody should quit their job to pursue their purpose. You got to do both. And when the purpose takes off, then you can go in that to full time. Not before. All right? Don't use your purpose to, uh, as a reason to be lazy. All right? I'm, I'm going to quit my job, pursue my purpose. No, -uh, no, -uh, uh. That ain't what I said. You get a job, you have a job that pays you, and you pursue your purpose at night. It's called the grind for a reason. All right, when I started doing YouTube videos, I didn't stop training. I was still training when I was writing my book and doing YouTube videos. I pursued my purpose on the side. I still had fucking bills to pay. You don't pursue your purpose and move back home with your mama. That's an excuse to be lazy. You pursue your purpose on the side. You got responsibilities. All right, so that's the thing with that guy. So any of you guys watching this, that's the secret to life. That's it. This is, it, ain't, it ain't hard, guys. If you're 21 years old, get a fucking skill. Then go get a high-paying job off of that skill. Take the money from that high-paying job. Live below your means. This means that if you make 100 grand a year as a plumber in New York City or whatever the case may be, because all these jobs up here, you know, these guys make 100 grand a year, plumbers, electricians, and welders. Live like you make 50 grand a year and take that other 50 or whatever, or whatever after tax, 20 or whatever out the tax and invest it in a, in a Roth IRA or a 401k or uh, some stocks or some shit like that, guys. 15, 20 years by the time you get 40, 41, you worth a million dollars, guys, or close to it. Uh, that's it. I wish I know that shit. I wish I know that shit then. If you're 21 years old and you do them steps right there, by the time you get my age, you'll have worth over a million dollars worth of investments. All right, guys, so I want you guys to know that. All right, invest. No rims. You don't need Gucci shoes. Invest. Invest. Stocks, bonds, Roth IRA, 401k, if real estate, if you have enough money to. Invest. By the time you get my age, I'm still a young man. I still feel young. I know some of you guys look at me and motherfucker, old as shit. 
I still feel young as shit, guys. I, I, I bet I feel like this when I'm 50 years old. Invest. All right, guys. So the next thing is uh, I chased women instead of success. And what I mean by this, guys, is what me and my brother would do when I was 20, 21, 22, 23, what we would do, man, is we went to the club three, four nights out the week. We went to the mall, and we didn't go to shopping. We went shopping, right, shopping for women. That's what we did. That's what I did from the age of like 18 all the way up to like 20, 23, 24, 25. The club never stopped. The club, I kept going, doing the club thing all the way up to like I was almost 30. Almost. All right. It went until I got to like 30 where I stopped really clubbing. I still go to clubs, but it's like twice or two or three times out the month or something. It's, you know, it ain't like what it used to be. It, it, it used to be that in a week. All right, so I spent a lot of time chasing ass. Instead of if you I, instead if I was put that same energy, you know, chasing success, the ass would have just come to me. But now I'm going out and I'm constantly playing a numbers game, numbers game. I talked to 20 women. Yeah, I did a lot of fucking, but I wasted a lot of time. If I would have took that same energy as towards, towards my success and towards building something as I did chasing women i would have made a lot more money guys which would have made me more attractive in the long run all right guys so do not spend all your time chasing women in your late teenage years and early 20s get on your grind some of you guys might not know what your purpose is that's fine that ain't no reason to sit around and feel sorry for yourself go out get a high paying job skill go get a skill then go get a high paying job and invest the money you might not know, figure out what you really have a passion for until you're 35. You can't sit at the house eating ice cream, Ben and Jerry's, feeling sorry for yourself because you ain't figured out what your fucking purpose is yet. All right? I'm tired of these fucking excuses. All I hear is excuses. Time to do some fucking working. All right, guys? Because life is easy. I wish I know this shit when I... Life is easy. Get a skill or education. Get a good paying job and invest the fucking money. What's so fucking hard about that? I wish I had somebody to tell me this shit when I was younger. All right. Next was I depended on my looks way too fucking much. So what I mean by this, guys, is women always found me very attractive. Not every woman. Y'all guys know that ain't every woman ain't just fucking die, die doing backward flips when they saw me. But the women, a lot of women that I would approach or whatever, they thought I was very attractive. And I thought all I had to do was just show up. All right. And just, you know, no game, no seduction, no nothing. She's just going to take her, put, uh, her panties off just because she thought I look good. I ain't got to do nothing else. All right? She's just going to take her panties off and throw them at me because she think I'm look good. Not figuring that I still had to seduce women. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. Don't de If you're one of these guys and women find you very attractive, or if you got a, a lot of money, and you, or you have a nice car, or you got a nice body, and women think you got a nice body, please understand that that's just one part of getting laid. You still have to seduce. All right? You still watch my seduction videos on how to seduce. You still got to hold that mask in the frame. You still got to know how to talk to her in a seductive way, guys. All right. At the end of the day, you still got to seduce the panties off. Do not depend on your car or your abs or your uh, handsome face or, or your popularity or whatever the case may be. As in thinking, you still have to seduce the panties off. All right, guys. I depend entirely too much on physical and not enough on seduction. All right. Next, I gave women way too much of my non-sexual attention when I was younger. Guys, I would spend hours on talking on the phone to women. I think a lot of guys did when I was younger, all right? But I ain't do a whole lot of fucking. See, this is the thing, guys. We, what, we, what I should have been doing was, instead of sitting there talking to her on the phone, giving her all my non-sexual attention, you, baby, you can talk to me over here. All right, you, you, we ain't got to talk on the phone. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at home. Where you at? All right, I come pick you up. We ain't got to talk on the phone. See, this, the phone is a, a buffer so she can get attention without getting no fucking. I don't want to do no fucking. Too much talking. You know, we need to do more fucking. All right, guys? So, any of you guys that's doing a lot of talking on the phone to women and shit like this right here, understand that she's talking to you on the phone. She ain't got to do a whole lot of fucking. All right, my attention come at a price. And if you want to know what that price is, look between your fucking legs. It ain't free. 
All right, so and we ain't talking on the phone. We talk. We can come over here and talk in person. All right, guys. So that's the thing with that. You gonna talk to me while this other motherfucker over here doing all the fucking? It ain't gonna work that way. All right, we ain't no fucking simp's. So don't give women a lot of your non-sexual attention. All right. Next thing, guys, was I would spend a lot of money. It, it wasn't a crazy amount of money, right? Like you know, it wasn't enough to you know Fort Knox and then like that. But I used to spend way too much money. On dates with women that I never saw again. Alright? I, shit, if I would have just took that money, all you guys that are blowing money on these dates, just think if you would have took that money and invested that by itself. I'm talking about just that. Like a lot of you guys spend seventy five hundred dollars on first dates with women you don't even see no more. And you do that two, three times a week or uh, a month with women you don't never see. Think if you took that two, three hundred dollars and just invested it in stocks. All right, guys. So all that blowing of money on women, you ain't even gonna fucking see anymore. All right. Keep the fucking dates cheap. I can't. God knows how much money. You know, I I, I would hate to know what that figure. It probably make me cry. Oh, well, I started dating when I was what 16, 17? Probably one of my first date when I was sixteen. I'm talking about date, not first girlfriend, but date where I actually. We went out to eat or something like that, man. It, God knows if you would have just took that money and invested in some stocks and bonds. All right, ain't that wrong with your girl or girl in your rotation? I'm talking about girls that you trying to impress or you just think like this. You know, I got to take on a first dinner date and shit like that, and never see the motherfucker again. All right, keep first dates cheap, guys. All right, next thing is uh, I did a lot, guys. Was not selling the deal with women. Now, when I was young, I would just automatically assume if, you know, have the girl over my house, hey, I fuck her next time, right? No big deal. Chill. I can't tell y'all guys how many times women that I done had over to my house that I didn't fuck and I didn't see them again or never got the opportunity to fuck them again. That is a big turnoff for women, all right? They put themselves in a position for you to seal a deal and you don't even know how to fucking do it. What kind of loser are you? How experienced with women do? How inexperienced with women do you have to be for me to be sitting on your fucking couch and you don't even know how to fucking seal the deal? All right, guys. So always seal the deal. This don't mean you fucking rape nobody. This means that you know the steps to getting her to feel comfortable to have sex with you. This means that you know how to fucking seduce her. All right. You know how to seal the fucking deal. If a woman do not want to sleep with you guys, I would say 95% of the times, if she don't want to sleep with you guys, she would not put herself in a position to where you can make a move. A woman would not, she'll be like, why we got to go in your place? What's in there? All right. If she came over to your house, there's a 90 to 95% chance that she want to have sex. You just, and for all you guys that, uh, she, you know, I guess you, I had it, I was trying. You did something wrong. You didn't make her feel comfortable. You were probably too aggressive. You, maybe you weren't saying the right things. Maybe you weren't smooth enough. Whatever the case may be, you didn't get her comfortable. You did something wrong. Uh, we was butt naked. I think she's an attention whore. Ain't no damn attention whore. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You ain't know how to make her feel comfortable. She probably was shit testing you, pulling back a little bit, and you sitting there mad and shit. And the girl, she got this right now. I'm scared. Now I'm scared. You mad? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, you mad? So guys, learn how to seal the deal. It's a good chance if you don't. I'm telling you, I get these emails all the time. I had the girl butt nigga in my bed, and I never saw her again. Yeah, you ain't know what the fuck you're doing. That's a, that's unattractive, guys. So always try your best to seal the deal. I guarantee you it's very likely you won't get the chance. I, it, it has, I have you know, sealed it sometimes the next time. But by and large, guys, most women that I've had on my couch and I ain't sealed the deal, I never slept with. Because the time for you to seal the deal was right then. You just didn't know what the fuck you was doing. All right, guys. Oh, man, this one right here bringing back nightmares. Over-pursuing women when they pull back. All right, so I would have girlfriends in the, you know, back in my early days or whatever, early 20s. They would pull back. I would get needy and I would feel that I could feel her pulling back. She's not calling me no more. And I would start, you know, hey, everything's okay. 
You know, you don't call me sounding like a little whiny little bitch instead of acting like a high value male. Now, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why would I call a girl who's pulling back who's not calling me? I had no fucking purpose in life. My purpose was the woman. That was my purpose. She was my sole thing of happiness. That's why I revolved my life around this girlfriend. And now she's pulling back. My happiness is going to lose with her, leave with her, because she was my source of happiness. So what I would do, I would start to chase. And this is why I tell you guys, when a girl pull back, stop everything. The only thing you can do is wait for her to come back to you. That's the only thing you can do. I don't give a fuck if y'all been married for 10 years. Any pursuit on your part when she pull back, it's going to cause her to lose even more interest. Because now she's going to lose even more respect. Do y'all guys get that? The only course of action to do is you got to wait till she come back to you. Ain't nothing else to do. I don't give a fuck if she got the best pussy in the world. I don't give a fuck if she can suck your dick and make you come in 30 seconds. I don't give a fuck. The only thing you can do is pull back and let her come back to you. That's the only thing you can do, guys. All right. Another thing I used to do was under pursuit. I did not know when I used to talk to women back in the day, and I lost a lot of ass off of this, but I would talk to women on the phone and I would not set fucking dates. I would not say, I'll sit down, we'll talk about everything, what you did today, well, you know, how was school, how was work, blah, blah, blah. When to set a fucking date, if she didn't call me back, I would take it as she had no interest in me, not knowing that I was supposed to set a date. So I would talk to these women that I would go on a date with, call them, talk to them, do everything but set another fucking date, and then wait for her to call me again, and a lot of the women wouldn't, and when you don't set dates, women lose interest because you ain't making shit happen. You a fucking beta cook that want to talk on the phone. You ain't making shit happen. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. Not knowing how to set dates. I will under pursue. What I mean by under pursue, I wouldn't set fucking dates. So if the woman didn't call me back, I would take it as in she didn't like me. Me knowing now. A lot of women was just, uh, are just hard, uh, 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 been programmed into believing that the man should do all the pursuing in the beginning. Some women are, are programmed that way. So what I supposed to been doing was setting dates. I wouldn't set dates. I would just talk on the fucking phone. So guys, when you talk to these women, make sure you setting fucking dates. Do not just talk to them on the phone. Set a fucking date. And if she won't set a date, put the ball in her court and you done until she can get that shit worked out. All right, put the ball on her court. Hey, well, you know, hit me up when your schedule clears up and you walk away and that's it. No more pursuit on your part. You put the ball on her court. If she interested, she'll hit you up. Hey, 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 this, that, and the other. Whatever the case may be. But we ain't finna do no more talking. I put it out there. I ask you out. I'm busy or we'll see. We ain't gonna see shit. Just hit me up when you clear your schedule up and you walk away. All right. Another big one, guy, was showing my interest to women. Now, I pretty much lost every girl in my 20s and my early 30s by not being mysterious enough and showing my interest. That's why I tell you guys don't validate women. Every girl in my 20s and early 30s, I would show my interest and she knew exactly where I stand and they would all get bored and, 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 and start pulling back. Every one of them. I didn't say some of them. I'm talking about the girls that I had high interest. Obviously, I'm not going to show interest to a woman that I think is a seven or eight. I'm talking about the nines and tens. I would always tell them how beautiful they were constantly. They would text me. They get a text back in 20 seconds. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. I don't give a fuck if I got a jackhammer. If I see the, oh, then I got to stop doing this and text this girl back. She might get mad. All right, guys. So always showing my interest. The woman knows exactly why I stand. They get bored. So that was a big one, guys. I, that, 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 that revolutionized my life, figuring out why all the women I had high interest in would lose interest over time. I would sleep with them, but 
you know, with women, you show your interest, you validate them, and eventually they're going to start pulling back or bored or whatever the case may be. You have to be a challenge, guys. The next thing, guys, no investments. I did no investment. Uh, me, me looking back on the now, if I can go back in the hands of, you know, time. I remember being at jobs and shit, and they offer 401k, and I ain't want to put the money in. All right? Just didn't have no vision as in long term. No long term thinking, guys. All right? So, guys, start your investments today. All right? If you can. If you ain't, get the high paying job by getting the skill. Take that money and invest it. I'm not expecting none of you guys to take your McDonald's money and go and invest it in real estate. All right? That's unrealistic. What I'm telling you, because I don't want y'all guys with all these excuses, because I know I'm finna get a whole bunch of, well, I don't got no money to invest. Well, here you go. Get a high, get a skill that's going to get you a job that pays you some fucking money. Don't go live like you Rockefeller. That way you can have some fucking money to invest. All right, guys. Next thing, guys, is I would always blow my tax refund. All right, so I would take my tax refund. Me knowing now what I know now, back home where I'm from, Alabama, you can get a nice house for, I'm, I'm dead serious, guys, in Alabama, you can get a decent house for about 80 grand. A de- I, it, it's not going to, you're not going to be living next to doctors and lawyers. All right, ain't nobody saying you're going to be living next to millionaires. But in Alabama, you can get a decent house for 80 grand. Me knowing what I know now, with the first time buyer, home buyer, 3.5% down, I could have took my income tax and put down on a home at 21, 22, when I was getting these three, four, five thousand dollar income taxes, guys. All right, I could have took that money, put down on a home. Didn't know about it. All right, so any of you guys that, you know, especially if you live in the South, and, and, and why is this important, guys? So let's, let's, let me talk about this. Why is this important? Let's say these past, let's say I would have did that when I was 21, when I first got my first income tax, right? Uh, let's say I would have did that when I was 21. And let's say I would have put down 3.5%, let's say on a $100,000 house. So that's $3,500 plus closing. So let's say four grand. all right? Now, look how much equity I would have had into that house. I probably could have paid it off depending on what the mortgage is, 15 or 30 year. But instead, all these years I've been paying rent. How much money y'all think I how much money y'all guys think I got into uh, how much money y'all think I get equity I get into renting the house? I get zero. Now, the reason I don't got no home now is because I live in New York and these apartments are like, you know, crazy. So ain't nobody finna buy one of these a thousand foot square foot apartment in Manhattan, guys. It's probably going to run you fucking almost a million dollars probably. All right. So I was thinking about that. But I do look into buying me a house soon. All right. As I told y'all guys, I'm looking to get into real estate. But if I would have did that in Alabama, look how much equity probably could have had the house paid off if I would have did a 15 year mortgage. Y'all guys get that. So any of you guys now 21, don't take your income tax and go buy rims or go shopping. Look around, especially if you're down in South you can get a hundred thousand dollar house, put three point five percent down on it, and you had to put renters insurance, uh, mortgage insurance on it. But that's not—it's better than renting. All right, you have to put uh, mortgage insurance on it because you didn't put the twenty percent down on it. But today, uh, when you get your income tax, you can put down on a fucking home and start building equity into that home, opposed to renting, which you get shit. Just you might just throw money in the air. Make it rain. That's all you did. All right, guys. So if any of you guys, especially if you down south, look into doing that. All right. The next thing I did, guys, was I would spend all my money on trendy clothes. Trendy clothes. Ain't nothing wrong with dressing nice. What's wrong with trendy clothes? Every three, four months, you need to buy some more. Now I buy clothes that lasts me forever as long as I take care of it because they don't go out of style. So when I was 21, 22, I can't remember what year this was, but when the FUBU Platinum thing was big and I went out and bought all this fucking Fat Albert bullshit, 
Three months, four months later, this motherfucker came out with Muhammad Ali Fubu Platinum. So guess what? Now all that shit you bought with that fat album shit, guess what? It's played out. You know, I'm spent God knows how much money on fat album jeans, shirts. Muhammad Ali, then he dropped Muhammad Ali Fubu Platinum. Guess what? Now this shit is null and void. It's out of style. So guys, try to avoid trendy clothes. I don't want to tell you guys not to dress nice or spend money on nice clothes and shit like this. I don't want you guys dressing like bums. But stay away from trendy clothes. Stay away from shit that every three months is a new fashion in and that shit out of style. And you sit here. I remember when I one year, Kooji came back in style back down south in Alabama. This is like when I was like 20... Seven or twenty-eight, some shit like that. It came back like twenty-seven, twenty-eight, some shit like Kooji came back in style. It was like for like six months. It came back in style real big. Went by all that Kooji shit. When I moved up to New York, I basically left thousands of dollars of Kooji shit in the closet because it was our style. So when I moved up to New York, I just left it in the fucking closet because it, it it wasn't even something you could wear no more. It was out of style. It had to be at least a couple of grand, if not more, of clothes. Alright guys, so do stay avoid trendy ass clothes. It's a waste of fucking money, guys. The next thing, guys, was I did not take the importance of credit. Any of you guys watching this right now, if you 18 and you responsible, not a little child, you know you know how to handle shit responsibly, go get your secure secure credit card and start your credit today. Today, I didn't say tomorrow, I didn't say next week. Today, secure your credit card. Start building on your credit now. So when you are 21 or 22 and you want to put down on the house, you can get good insurance, good interest rates, guys. All right. You want if you want if you somebody who want to finance a car, and you want to get a nice car. Interest rate is going to dictate what your payment going to be. All right, so if you're somebody responsible, start working on your credit today. Get a secure credit card today. I did not start working on my credit card until I was fucking 35. And then when I found out I was, you know, what a credit score was, because I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even know what my credit score was, when, no, like 34. When I checked it, it was like under 600, like 530 something, 550, some shit like that. Low ass credit score, guys. All right, so start working on your credit. Credit is very important as in, as what your interest rate going to be. So if you're 21, 22, and you do want to put 3.5% down on a home, your credit score is going to dictate what your interest rate going to be, which is going to save you hundreds of dollars, guys. All right? And <clears throat> the last thing, guys, was I never finished what I started. Ever. When I was young, I never finished what I started. Like I told y'all guys, I went to job call, I stayed a month, I'm done. I enrolled in college, community college, I stayed about a semester, done. All right, guys, that's why when I finished that book and I put that shit on Amazon, that's why that shit actually, it, I actually had done it before that, when I actually got certified to become a personal trainer. The old me would have quit that shit. I would have looked at that book, man, I ain't reading this goddamn book. And I would have quit that shit. That, so when I actually got certified to be a personal trainer, which was actually a, a big accomplishment for me because I finally finished something that I started. Finally. And when I finished this book, it just reinforced that I had to change my ways, guys. Finish what you started. A lot of you guys have books right now. You ain't finished it. You started something and you didn't finish it. You started taking those good tar lessons, but you didn't finish. Finish what you started, guys. You started it for a reason, because you knew it was a good plan, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy as you thought it was going to be. You thought it was going to be easy. Oh, this is a breeze. Starting to get hard. Oh, fuck this bullshit. I'm out. Finish what you started, guys. You started it because you knew that it was something that you needed to do, or you should do, and you quit like a little bitch because it got a little hard and it wasn't easy and you took the easy way out. All right, guys? So finish what you start. Always finish what you start. All right? All right, guys. Sorry I kept this video so long, but I knew it was going to be long when I started. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.